Hi everybody, so I wanted to do a micro PD over um, some of the tools of PowerPoint. Um, so I learned something today and one of the things I learned was uh, that there are these samplers on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint for the infographics. And so I've seen these before and I've always been like, oh, how do people make those? That's so cool. The, the um, data, how do they manipulate the infographic to get the data in there? Um, and then add that into, um, you know, their presentation. So uh, this is for faculty and, and for staff as well, anybody that has to do presentations or, or wants to put together presentations. So as I was generating content this morning, um, you know, I, I found this and I said, oh, a sampler. Everybody loves a sampler, right? Sampler of, uh, of uh, desserts, sampler of uh, cheeses, sampler of... Uh, I don't know, whatever. We like the variety, right? So anyway, I'm in PowerPoint. I go to more themes. Then I go to infographics. And from infographics, um, first of all, there's some really cool, cool infographics. Um, there's a game board, for instance, you know, and you would download and you could um, add all your, your information in there. And um, what got me thinking about this was a discussion um, when uh, Julia did the presentation about having a uh, uh, syllabus that was a PowerPoint and then eventually a, s a syllabus that was like infographics, right? That was her, her syllabus. Um, and and um, so anyway, I, I found this that um, you go here, you go to more themes. Um, the one or the two samplers are the smart graphic sampler and the PowerPoint graphics sampler. So on this one, you know, you open it up, and it has a sample of all the ones. And I, I haven't used this uh, yet, uh, but I intend to um, after this video. And um, what you do is it, it explains to you how to um, manipulate this. So your content in this location, more text placed here. And then so say you wanted to move the, the timeline, you know, manipulate your timeline. Um, so you're you're changing the information. You can manipulate all this, and it kind of guides you through that of what to do. Um, and then I'm assuming you would just delete the ones that you didn't, the slides that you didn't want from the sampler, um, because maybe you're just going to use this one, or um, you know, build other PowerPoint slides. You would use the normal content things themes in there or something. Um, the other sampler was um, smart graphic sampler and this is interesting because okay so say you want to use the percentage with pie charts and this is what I've always seen and I'm like oh, how do they do that well this this tells you how to do it each uh, infographic explains how to manipulate the information so right here I'm going to click on that and then go to edit data and instead of 65 percent I want to make the um, number 32 percent and then I enter and so it changes the data the the content to 32 but then it also changes the uh, little metric there it makes it 32 percent of this 100 percent whole whereas that was 50 percent if I manipulated this data um, it would change that so anyway um, you know you'd go in and make your make your title and everything uh, you follow along with uh, this information here on on how to use this and uh, like I said this is a, it's a pretty cool way uh, to implement these infographics um, into your uh, PowerPoints into your presentation into your content and it tends to make uh, make the content more engaging and that's the number one reason why I'm doing this and I, I took that a uh, tidbit from from Julia of um, implementing this more engaging format because the individuals looking at the presentation in our case generally students uh, but if you're staff and you're making a presentation uh, for non-students it's the same thing everybody wants the content to be visually engaging not a dense box of text um, some some text broken up in short segments um, and and these infographics are really good um, at, at doing that. So infographics, there you go, they're on PowerPoint. 
Um, you can use the sampler to kind of uh, play around with some different formats. Some of you, if you want to do your family tree, um, that's what you would do. Um, you know, there's one for educational infographics. Um, timeline could be interesting. Um, tree diagram. I mean, all, all kinds of ideas here. I think there are some animated ones um, as well. So check out the infographics on PowerPoint. All right, everybody, have a good... Oh, wait. This is a non-education related uh, tip. And if you've watched to the end, um, I'll know because you'll say something to me about this. But I learned something the other day about uh, when getting gas. You know, you put the, the card in and then as soon as it is like, Maria Menounos from blah, 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 blah. She's talking on the screen. Okay. Um, on, on the screen, to the right of the screen, there's like a series of buttons. Uh, I think to the right and left. But on the right, second button down, if you hit that, it mutes. Maria Menounos, mute sir. And so you don't have to hear the commercials while you're filling up gas. Anyway, try it out. Try it out. That, that's a tip. That's a tip.